Hello guys, so as you may have noticed, there haven't been a lot of ink drawings here on my channel this Inktober and it is because I promised myself not to stress myself out with making one drawing every day but I also promised to make at least one drawing and post here on my channel since I love working with ink and this video is also a collaboration with my dear friend Jackie from Nerdy Crafter here on YouTube and we did another collab a few months ago where we both did the Legend of Zelda themed arts and crafts and now it turned out that we both had plans to make something Stranger Things related since we both really like the show so we thought that we might as well turn this into a collab which I am very 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 excited about Jackie made this tiny but yet super creepy Demogorgon monster in a bottle look at all that small details and the kind of flower head mouth it is so cool and disgusting and I love it I'm always amazed by her creations especially the little creatures that she somehow can fit into a bottle and if you want to see and learn how she made this go check out her video there is a link in the info box below and check out her other videos too she's doing a lot of geeky and interesting and amazing projects in clay and resin and all that good stuff and if you like what you see be sure to subscribe you won't be disappointed she is an awesome person and talented crafter I am drawing 11 from Stranger Things if you didn't know I am so happy to be working with ink again it is so much fun and here I am outlining the portrait with liquid ink and a thin brush I was so worried that I would put my hand in the ink and smudge it so I'm trying to work my way from the left to the right since I am right handed good thing the ink is drying super quick a little too quick perhaps so you have to work really really fast I really wished I could have made more Inktober drawings but there have been so much stuff going on lately as usual and I had other videos too that I wanted to make and post uh, but there might be another ink drawing before the end of October, hopefully. It is kind of autumn themed artwork so I have to finish it soon before the winter is coming. So for this piece I'm using black India ink from Winsor & Newton and the ink wash looks a little brownish in the video but it is black, it just got a warmer tone to it. And instead of using a rougher watercolor paper as I normally do when using ink, I tried a smoother Bristol board instead. And the brand is called Fabriano and this is the first time I'm trying it. I liked working on the Bristol board, it sucked up the ink quite well and gave a nice layered effect to the ink. It was almost a little like working with markers and drawing on top of the same color again and again to get a darker shade. The black outlines and the shading with a lighter ink wash gives the drawing this semi-realistic look which I really like. Since it is supposed to be an Inktober piece I tried to use different techniques to make it more interesting. If you haven't watched Stranger Things yet, I will not spoil anything for you, I promise. But it takes place back in the 80s and it got this kind of adventure horror theme to it. And you get to follow a little group of kids and one of them is this girl that I'm drawing right now. She's called Eleven and she's got these psychic powers. She is a really great character, I think, of many. There are many likable characters in this show. Eleven got this kind of angry but yet concerned or worried face expression which I tried to capture in this piece and I might have made her a little more mad than I first intended but she got this very very intense stare.
Her head may look a little short and squashed, it is barely noticeable, but since I film my videos from an angle and not from straight above, the drawing turns out a little squeezed. You don't really think about it until you make a portrait or anything with a face on it, and it looks a little rounder and compressed. I do have a brand new expensive tripod just laying around that I can actually film from straight above with, but my desk that I'm drawing on is not deep enough so it doesn't fit on top of it, which I am a little sad about, so I have to wait until we can get a bigger place. I dream of this big art studio where I can have a huge table to do all my art on. Oh, one day... I received some questions about the brushes I use for the ink, and they are nothing fancy really, just regular synthetic brushes. I think the brand is called Ami or Amy or something like that, that is what it says on the brushes at least. And they were not super expensive, but what I like about them is that the bristle hairs is still smooth and nice even after using them a lot, and they give this crisp and clean lines which I think is pretty important when doing a line art. It is so annoying when you have these little bristle hairs poking out and messes up the lines. At the end I'm using a little bit of white acrylic ink and gel pens for highlights and this splatter pattern to add more texture to the drawing, and I kinda like that the blue pencil sketch underneath is coming through the ink. I used the Prismacolor Colorase pencil for the sketch in the beginning for those who are wondering. The blue lines under the black gives the drawing this kind of glow. I hope you liked the drawing and this video, leave a like and a comment if you did, it's always appreciated. And don't forget to check out Jackie's part of this collab and see when she created this Demogorgon in a bottle, it is super awesome. And subscribe to her channel and to mine too if you want to, all the links is in the description box below. Thank you Jackie for doing another collab with me, it was a lot of fun, thanks for watching and keep drawing my happy cats, bye!